Hey everyone, today we are going to be applying our surface area formulas. Basically, we're going to use the surface area formulas to solve problems. Mainly, we will look for a missing dimension or part in the formula. And here are the steps to do that. First, you need to read the question and identify the shape that they're talking about so that you can write down the correct surface area formula. Um, and either write down the total or the lateral, they will tell you which one. Then write out all the variables like we normally do whenever we're solving a surface area problem, and that will help you find the missing information. Um, so you'll write out like P, H, and B, um, and then it might be B that you're missing. And then we're going to set up an equation and we will solve for the missing variable. All right, so let's look at this first one. It says the lateral surface area of a cylinder is 226.08 centimeters squared. The radius is four. What is the height of the cylinder? So this time they gave us the surface area and they want us to find the height. So the first thing you want to do is write down the formula. They're talking about lateral surface area of a cylinder. So I'm gonna write down lateral surface area equals two pi rh. And then just like I normally do, I'm gonna write out to the side here what um, the variables are. But I'm also going to include the lateral surface area this time since they gave that to us. So lateral surface area and then radius and height. So they gave me the lateral surface area. It is 226.08. And then they gave me the radius, it's four. I don't know the height. That is what I am looking for. So now we are going to substitute everything in that we have. So lateral surface area was 226.08. Equals, I know, 2 times pi is 3.14. And then I know the radius. The radius is 4. Times the height. I don't know that. So now this is my equation I am going to solve. Remember, we always want to simplify as much as possible before we start solving. This side of the equation can be simplified. I am going to multiply together 2 times 3.14 times 4, so that number in front of h is a lot more simple. So 2 times 3.14 times 4 is 25.12. So now this equation will become 226.08 equals 25.12h. Now this is just a one-step equation. All I have to do to get h by itself is divide by the coefficient of 25.12. And 226.08 divided by 25.12 is 9. So that means that the height of the cylinder is 9 centimeters. All right, let's look at number two. It says the total surface area of a cylinder is 11,304. So this time we're dealing with total surface area. The diameter is 40. What is the height of the cylinder? So same type of thing. They gave me the surface area. I'm finding the height, but we're dealing with the total surface area formula this time, which is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. So they gave me the total surface area. It was 11,304. They gave me the radius. Well, they gave me the diameter, which was 40, and I'll divide that by two to find the radius. So the radius is 20. And then I don't know what the height is. That's what I'm looking for. So let's substitute in what we have and then see if we can solve for H. So total surface area was 11,304 equals 2 times pi times my radius of 20 times h plus 2 times 3.14 times 20 squared. Okay, now there's a lot that I can simplify on this side of the equation before we solve. 
I am going to multiply the coefficient of h like I did last time. And I'm also going to simplify that number that we are adding. So the left side is already simplified with 11,304. Now I'm going to simplify the coefficient of h by doing 2 times 3.14 times 20. And that is 125.6. And then I'm going to simplify this number that we're adding. So I'm going to do 2 times 3.14 times 20 squared, which is 2,512. Okay, now this is a two-step equation. I'm going to get rid of the constant, and then I will divide. So let me get rid of that plus 2,512 by subtracting 2,512 from both sides. And 11,304 minus 2,512, oh, I accidentally did multiply, minus 2,512 is 8,792. And then my last step is to divide by the coefficient, which is 125.6. So 8,792 divided by 125.6 is 70. So the height of that cylinder was 70 feet. Okay, let's look at number three. The lateral surface area of a cylinder is 2,000, or sorry, 263.76 meters squared. If the height of the cylinder is seven meters, what is the radius? So this time they gave us the height and we're looking for the radius. It's still gonna be the same process though. I'm gonna write out my formula. Lateral surface area of a cylinder is two pi r h. And then I'm gonna write out to the side everything that they gave me and what I'm looking for. Lateral surface area is 263.76. The radius, I don't know, that's what we're looking for. And then the height is seven. All right, now let's substitute in what they gave us. The lateral surface area was 263.76 equals two times 3.14 times R, that's what I'm looking for, so I'm gonna leave it as R, times the height of seven. Okay, this one looks a little bit different because what I'm looking for is in the middle. All of this is still being multiplied though, so I'm still going to multiply two times 3.14 times seven to get that number in front of R. So two times 3.14 times seven is 43.96. So this new equation becomes 263.76 equals 43.96 R. And then my last step to solve for R is divide by 43.96. So 263.76 divided by 43.96 is six. So the radius is six meters. Okay, number four, it says a lateral surface area, or a rectangular prism has a lateral surface area of 70 inches. If the perimeter of the base is 14 inches, what is the height? So lateral surface area for a rectangular prism, that formula is pH. They gave us the lateral surface area, it is 70. They gave us the perimeter of the base as well, it is 14. And now I need to solve for the height. So let's set up an equation to do that. I'm going to substitute in lateral surface area for 70. The perimeter of the base is 14. And then the height is what we are looking for. So I'm going to leave it as H. And now this is a one-step equation. I don't have to simplify anything first. So I'm just going to go ahead and divide both sides by 14 and 70 divided by 14 is five. 
So the height of that rectangular prism was five inches. All right, let's look at number five. The lateral surface area of a triangular prism was 120 inches. If the perimeter of the base is 20 inches, what is the height? So this one's gonna be really similar. Lateral surface area formula for a triangular prism is perimeter times height. They gave me the lateral surface area. It was 120. They gave me the perimeter of the base. It was 20 and I'm looking for the height. So lateral surface area is 120. It equals the perimeter, which is 20, times the height, I don't know, so I'm gonna leave it as H. And now I just have one step to solve this. I divide both sides by 20, and 120 divided by 20 is six. So the height is six inches. Okay, last one, it says a triangular prism has a base that is an equilateral triangle with sides of six centimeters. If the lateral surface area of the triangular prism was 180 centimeters, what is the height? So I'm looking for the height again when they gave me the lateral surface area of a triangular prism. So let's write out this formula and then think about what we need to do. Lateral surface area of a triangular prism is perimeter times height. So they gave me the lateral surface area, which is 180. Perimeter we'll talk about in a second and height, I know that's what I'm looking for. So they did not outright give me the perimeter of the base, but they did give me some information so that I can find it. They told me that the base is an equilateral triangle with sides of six. So I can draw out that base. If it's equilateral, all the sides are equal and they're all six. And now it's easy to find the perimeter. I just do six plus six plus six. And I get 18. So now I have everything I need to find the height of the prism. I'm going to substitute in 180 for the lateral surface area, and it equals the perimeter, which was 18, times the height, which I don't know, so I'm gonna leave it as H. And now I just have one last step to solve this equation. I divide by 18, and 180 divided by 18 is 10. So the height of this prism was 10 centimeters.